All right, I want to show you how you can use Statomic V3 to generate a static site. So right here, ocmedia.com is my blog, and uh, this is a, a static site. It's generated from Statomic. Statomic is a CMS, but we're going to generate it into flat files that we can send to Netlify and serve from Netlify. So before we begin, I just want to note that at the time of recording, um, there's only a beta version out of Statomic V3, so that's what we're running off of. So things may change in the future, and I may re-record this video. But for now, you can see how you can use Statomic to generate your static sites. So I'm going to assume that you already have Statomic installed, and it's running, and you have a, like, a website set up that has some content that we can actually generate a static site out. So to begin, we're going to use the PHP please command, which is Statomic CLI, to run the SSG generate. PHP please SSG generate. Now what this will do is this will go through our, the content on our site and generate static files. So we can see at the bottom here, your static site was generated into this directory. So if we go into that directory and we take a look around, we have a bunch of folders and our files here. We can use valet here to link up our static directory and then serve that locally so we can test out what it looks like. So we go test.test .test, and this is our static site. So there's no PHP running in the background here. This is just static HTML files that we can then put on a server or on Netlify or on an S3 bucket and serve. So before we go any further, we can just go back and take a look at the options for uh, Statimix static generation. So you can configure your base URL, which just pulls from the environment variable by default. Uh, you can configure where it's going to go. So by default, it goes into that static directory. And then you can configure what folders and files to copy over. So by default, just CSS and JS are copied over. I had to add images, fonts, assets, and my favicon. I don't know what symlinks is. I'm going to leave that out for now. Uh, and then excluded URL. So if you have some like maybe private URLs or drafts or anything that you just don't want part of your static site, you can add them here. Finally, just a simple uh, option for Glide. So this is just going to tell Glide during build time when it compiles all your images, uh, which directory to output them to. All right, so what we have here is, let's go back, storage, app, static. We have our static directory with all our files in here. So the next thing we want to do is deploy this to Netlify. It's really simple. I'm already going to assume that you're familiar with Netlify and that you are able to point Netlify at your GitHub repo and you know how to set everything up. Uh, but after that, I just want to go over a couple quick things specifically for static sites. So what I had to do was make sure that I ran my NPM production build to make sure that my front end assets were compiled. And then because I'm using Algolia for my search index, um, I also make sure that my search index is updated. And the reason that I do this here is that maybe while I'm drafting content on my local instance of my site, I don't want to have that update the search index because then people could find my like draft articles that aren't published to the main site yet. So I only update the index during build. And then finally, we run PHP please SSG generate, which is what we just ran in VS Code, and that'll actually generate the site. And then next, we have to tell Netlify where do we find our static files. So that's a published directory. And for, in our case, by default, it's under storage app static. OK, and then the last two steps you have to do are add two environment variables, one for your app URL. So that's just like you know, the URL where the site will be. By default, um, you can just use Netlify. Like if you don't have a custom domain set up, Netlify is going to give you a generated URL. You can just use that. And then finally, the PHP version and just set that to 7.2. And then that's it. Uh, your builds will go out automatically. You can see here I have a bunch of builds. Every time you push, your site's updated, and then you get your nice static site. And then if we run this against um, PageSpeed Insights, so ocmedia.com, which is our live production right here, rendering, I don't know, 10, 10 articles, 10 excerpts. We got 100% page speed. Everything's quick and easy. Uh, and you don't really have to worry about your site going down because Netlify is going to keep it up. All right, that is how easy it is to generate a static site with Statimic. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please subscribe, leave a like on the video, and follow me on Twitter at Owen Conti. I'll see you next time.